This is for airing Club News, uh, April 5th, 1981. Spring quarters in its second week at Utah Technical College at Salt Lake, and student enrollment figures indicate that about a third of the students are women. One of our goals is to help more women. Special classes to provide women with new direction and to help them into technical and managerial jobs are part of the curricula. And whether a student's coming to us directly from high school or from years of child rearing, we have programs that can help her to know herself better and to move into the marketplace more easily. Another way that we're trying to help serve the needs of the community is evident in Utah Tech's new mine pre-employment classes. The mining industry needs miners and prospective students need to have some basic knowledge about mining. Now, in conjunction with Snow College, Utah Tech at Salt Lake is offering classes two weeks in length to prepare students for the first mining jobs. The brief classes begin the fourth Monday of every month. Students spend 32 hours in the classroom at Utah Tech's Skill Center and the remaining eight hours on the job. Five instructors, all of whom work in the mining industry, teach the course, and about 50 mining companies in the state work closely with the program. So far, a large percentage of, of the students taking the mine pre-employment class have already been placed in mining jobs. Faculty, staff, and students were pleased at Utah Tech recently to welcome the Sterling Scholar applicants on campus. We congratulate them on their outstanding achievements. Congratulations are also in order for Two of our instructors who recently were honored by the Kiwanis Club of Salt Lake, Joseph Baker and Herb Van Oss, both received outstanding teacher awards from the group. Our nursing department reports that 31 students recently received their licensed practical nurse pin at ceremonies. There's still time to take advantage of the free income tax preparation service offered by Utah Tech's business management and advanced accounting students. This service is available in the lower floor of the College Center from 2 to 8 p.m., Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, now through April 15th. This has been Burton Talmadge for Utah Technical College at Salt Lake. Now back to Club's beautiful music. This is for airing April the 12th, Club News. At the recent DECA convention in southern Utah, students representing Utah Technical College at Salt Lake came home with three first-place awards, including the Best Advertising Campaign. Utah Tech's next two-week class for those seeking jobs in the mining industry is scheduled to begin Monday, April 27th. Completion of the course meets the new federal requirements for entry into the mining industry. The course is taught by five instructors who are experts in various mining operations. About 50 companies are allied with the program and many of the students who enrolled for the first course have already been placed. Students attend classes at Utah Tech's Skill Center from 6 to 9 p.m. Monday through Thursdays and then spend eight hours in the job. New pre-mining classes begin the fourth Monday of each month. When Utah Tech students leave class to seek jobs, they're prepared with practical skills and oftentimes on-the-job experience. Our cooperative education program places them in work situations where they get hands-on experience to complement their technical know-how. And it's often possible for students to begin training at times to suit their own convenience. Open entry, open entrance in classes also make it possible for our students to complete courses at the speed which suits their individual needs and capabilities. This Thursday evening, Travel Series continues with a color slide presentation by Phil and Marie Dotson's three-month adventure traveling in East Africa on a photographic safari. The Dotson's experience was unusual in that they went on a self-guided tour in a rental car, camping out in the national parks and game preserves. Tickets for the Africa Travel Program are available at the door. Showtime, 7 p.m. this Thursday, at the Rampton Technology Building on the Redwood Road campus. Now this is Burton Talmage again for Utah Technical College at Salt Lake. And let's return to club's beautiful music. This is for airing April 19th on Club News. Springtime is a beautiful time at Utah Technical College's Redwood Road campus. 
The spacious quad is green again and the scene of much in-between class socializing. Looking to the east and to the west, students see a breathtaking view of snow-capped mountains. Flowering shrubs and trees are in bloom. And if most people have a touch of spring fever, no one is surprised. However, the advent of spring serves to step up the pace of the college rather than slow it down. Large numbers of prospective students seek counsel daily at the college center where friendly advisors are helpful in many ways. We see people of all ages and from all walks of life coming to Utah Tech to build a better future. The daycare center is alive with activity of the excited, happy children of our students. They too are learning new skills. The barbering and cosmetology areas are full of folks getting new spring hairdos and the food service is cooking up light, nutritious fare for warm weather appetites. Utah Tech's representatives are out working with business and industry to set up classes which fill the particular needs of individual companies. Seminars and special programs for women are attracting more women to what appears to be not only a great place to prepare for rewarding employment, but also a place some might regard as happy hunting grounds. About a third of our students are women. Springtime or any time at Utah Tech is a good time to save her life and to prepare for its rewarding careers. This is Burton Talmage for Utah Technical College at Salt Lake. Now back to club's beautiful music. This is for airing April 26 on Club News. Drafting day is scheduled this Friday at Utah Technical College at Salt Lake. While it's time to recognize and award prizes to high school students who demonstrate outstanding ability, it's also an opportunity for all high school drafting students or anyone interested in a drafting career to enjoy a day of talks, on-campus demonstrations, and the association with professionals. Art students at Utah Tech are busy completing all the entries which will feature in their annual art show scheduled May 15th through the 22nd. A special feature of this year's event will be an exhibition of President Jim Schnurl's own watercolor paintings. Students in the mine pre-employment classes are completing their 40 hours of training this week and a new class will begin May 25th. Registration is now open. Although Utah Tech operates a four-quarter schedule, many classes are open entry, open exit, meaning that students may begin and complete their studies whenever they like. The friendly counselors at the College Center on the Redwood campus can provide complete information. Even though the economy is down recently, the job service office on the college campus is having good success in placing students who have completed their training. Business and industry look to Utah Tech for qualified people to fill their vacancies. Again, this is Burton Talmage for Utah Technical College at Salt Lake. Now let's return to Club's wonderful music.